Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards about your current person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love, what their current energy is towards you, and what their true intentions are with you. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is this person's current energy towards Scorpio, please? Whoever Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love, what is this person's current energy towards Scorpio? All right, first card we have here is the Two of Wands. It could be an Aries for some of you. We also have the Two of Cups here. It could be a Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we have King of Pentacles energy. I feel like that's your energy for some reason. All right, Scorpio, so whoever this person is, um, it could be someone who lives at a distance from you, long distance with the two of wands, this, but this can also represent emotional distance. This person is looking at you as someone who's far away from them. They're also looking at you as someone who's their soulmate, someone who they feel a strong emotional connection with or emotional connection to. I feel like they're fantasizing about having, I want to say the Ten of Cups energy, having a happily ever after with you. I feel like this is someone who wants to build with you. They want to have um, an emotionally fulfilling future with you. They want a serious relationship, a serious commitment. But they feel like there's some sort of choice or some sort of de decision that needs to be made. Um, it, it also looks like there's some sort of obstacle or challenge that's in their way. And I'm not sure what that is, but, you know, it could be distance, but it could be something else. Um, this person feels like they're limited in, in what they can do right now for whatever reason. All right, let's take a deeper look here at um, their true intentions. Spirit, what are this person's true intentions with Scorpio? What are this person's true intentions with Scorpio? All right, looking at their true intentions, we do have here the Ace of Wands showing up. Tell me more about their true intentions. Why the Ace of Wands? We also have here the, um, the Five of Pentacles showing up. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. The Tower to the Five of Pentacles de definitely makes me feel like there was some sort of big breakup, big separation. <clears throat> now, this could have been between the two of you, or this could have been in another relationship. I'm not sure which one is it. But their true intentions is to definitely have a brand new beginning with you, with the Ace of Wands. You know, I feel like this is someone who wants to have a new beginning with you, but they're afraid to express that to you, is what I'm getting. They're afraid to express that to you. They're afraid to, like, um, communicate that to you. They're, they're, yeah, they're afraid of communicating that to you. Hmm. I'm definitely sensing fear. All right. I'm going to go ahead and clarify here. I'm, st I'm not exactly sure where you are, Scorpio. I mean, we do have the tower here. I think I'm going to look at the tower first here. Because um, I do want to look at your energy a little bit more. Spirit, tell me about the tower. Connected to Scorpio, please. Yes, 
You know, I feel I'm getting like an energy of someone who has been trying to focus on themselves. They've been trying to focus on their work, um, their career, their finances, hoping to like forget about you, hoping to like distract their mind from from thinking about you. I feel like this person has been putting an f has been putting considerate effort into forgetting about you and and moving on from you. But as much as they as much as they're trying to just let this go, they still feel a very strong emotional connection to you. They still think about you. They still wish they could be in a relationship with you. Hmm. Tell me about the tower. Oh, okay. Lots of cards. Seven of swords with the tower. Also the ace of swords. Tell me more about the tower. Connected to Scorpio. Six of Swords. What does that mean? Bottom of the deck, the moon. What? Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the moon with the tower. So this had a very ugly ending, is what I'm getting. A very, very ugly breakup, very ugly separation between the two of you. I feel like things got ugly here. Things got very ugly. Toxic is also what I'm getting. Thing, things became very toxic between the two of you. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I really want to see you, Scorpio. I, I, I don't see you anywhere. I, I just want to get a clear idea of what. Where is your energy at? I need help here. <laughs> I feel, well, I mean, no surprise, Scorpio, your energy is like a mystery. Scorpio is the sign of mysteries. And that's exactly what, that's exactly how you're showing up here in this reading, like a mystery. Spirit, um, bring Scorpio's energy towards me forward, please. What's going on currently in Scorpio's feelings and thoughts in regards to this person that's showing up in the reading? If you can, please. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands in the reverse is what I'm getting in your energy. Three of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. You know what it is to Scorpio? Hold on. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles to the Sun, to the King of Wands. Yeah, you know what it is to Scorpio? I, I just feel like this happens many times with Scorpios when, you know, when they're done, they're done. When they're done, they're done. When they're gone, they're gone. When they're out, they're out. That's kind of like the vibe I'm getting from you. Like I said what I said, I made the decision that I made, and that's that. And that's that. That's the vibe I'm getting here from you. You don't give second chances is what I'm getting. That's just not what you do. You don't give second chances. Let me look at this Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and their true intention spirit with Scorpio. I'm definitely getting a lot of sadness in this person's energy. It's like it's like they're sad, they're devastated, they they feel lonely, they feel empty, they feel lost. Um, I, I'm also feeling like they 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 miss you, you know. They're missing you. They're longing for you. Um, they're they're remembering you, and and they can't get you out of their their head, their mind. They're trying to like focus on their work or their responsibilities, their job, but it's not working. However, 
in your energy, Scorpio, I just feel like you're in this energy of you made your bed and now you have to lie in it, you know? You're not going to get sympathy from me. I don't feel, I, yeah, I don't feel like this person's getting any sympathy from you, you know? It, it feels more like you made your bed and now you have to lie in it. Uh, you have to, you know, you have to face your own consequences. I can't help you with that. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I feel like you're saying that. I can't help you with that. Huh. Tell me about the Ace of Wands um, and their true intentions with Scorpio. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. You see what I'm telling you? Look at that. Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This person like is, is experiencing a lot of nostalgia is what I'm getting with the Six of uh, Cups. They're very nostalgic over you. They, they miss the good times or they miss the moments that they had with you in the past where when, when things were good between the two of you from their perspective, when they were happy with you, when they were close to you. And with the Ace of Wands, they want to relive that again. They want to re-experience that again. Again, it's, it's like they're a beggar here. They're in this beggar energy of I don't have anywhere else to go I don't have anyone else to talk to you know I'm I just I feel abandoned I feel empty I feel sad and I don't have anywhere else to go and I feel like you're in this energy of that's not my problem I can't help you with that Are you like in a new relationship, Scorpio? Because I'm kind of getting that. I feel like some of you are already in a brand new relationship or this could also mean that you're going to be in a brand new relationship very soon. All right, let me get, let me just look at the outcome here because this is miserable and it's making me feel miserable. So let's just see what's gonna happen here ultimately and, and that's that. All right, Spirit, what's the outcome between Scorpio and this person moving forward? Is anything going to happen here? Is anything going to change? Is Scorpio going to take this person back? What's the outcome between Scorpio and this person moving forward? Okay, here we go. So looking at the outcome, well, geez, we have the Two of Swords. Yeah, this feels like a no. This feels like a, a, a big fat no. Absolutely not. Scorpio, why, why am I getting that you're like falling in love with someone? I'm really feeling that. I just felt that really strongly right now. I feel like you're falling in love. Or you're going to be falling in love. But I feel like you're going to be falling in love like like head over heels in love, you know, like crazy in love, uh, deeply in love. Maybe that, maybe you're in that energy right now. I mean, if that's the case, it's mutual. I feel like both of you are, are crazy in love with each other, deeply in love with each other. Again, if, if, if this isn't happening right now for you, then I feel like this is what's coming up for you. But yeah, in the outcome, with the Two of Swords, like I said, I'm just getting a big fat no. Like, um, Again, it's like you're in this energy of, I said what I said. Um, I, I made my decision. And I'm a Scorpio. I don't give second chances. And I don't, I don't look... I don't look to the past. I don't go backwards. I only move forwards. Yeah, Scorpio can be very unforgiving, you know, especially if you betray a Scorpio. Um, yeah, that's, that's not, 
that's not going to ever um, be forgiven for the most part, generally with, with Scorpios, you know? Okay. All right, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.